Isn't it weird to think about teachers having lives outside of school? From the weird, to the wacky, to the super strict, here's our roundup of some of the quirkiest teachers from books. Mrs. Jules from the Wayside School Series by Lewis Sacker. Mrs. Jules teaches her class a lesson on how large a million is by giving them the weirdest homework assignment of them all, collecting a million nail clippings. Luckily, everyone's nails have been growing super fast, a side effect from the cloud of doom looming above the school. Vice Principal Nero from the Series of Unfortunate Events series by Lemony Snicket. Vice Principal Nero has a reputation of being strict and cruel. He forces the students at Proofrock Preparatory School to sit through his six-hour violin recitals every night. And let's just say, practice does not make perfect in this case. But the punishment is even worse than his playing. If you miss the performance, he'll make you buy a large bag of candy for him, and he'll eat it all in front of you. Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus series by Joanna Cole. Miss Frizzle isn't just your typical teacher. She loves colorful clothing, used to be an actress, and seems to know everything. And we can't forget about her shape-shifting magic school bus that she uses to take her class on trips. A journey deep into the ocean or into outer space beats a normal trip to the museum any day. Miss Daisy from the My Weird School series by Dan Gutman. Miss Daisy definitely isn't a normal second grade teacher. She can't do math, she can't spell, and knows nothing about history. Plus, she loves bonbons way too much. But at least AJ is by her side and promises to help her get up to the second grade level this year. Mr. Kermit from The Unteachables by Gordon Corman. Mr. Kermit has basically given up on his teaching career. He wasn't always like this. He loved teaching, but after a cheating scandal 27 years ago, he's been phoning it in ever since. So when he's assigned to teach the Unteachables, a class of misfits, delinquents, and academic train wrecks, the kids definitely didn't expect to find a teacher with a worse attitude than they did. Professor Bilius Manley from the School for Good and Evil series by Soman Chanani. The School for Evil has a unique set of required classes, including Evil 101, Uglification, taught by Professor Bilius Manley, and he believes in the power of being ugly. With one of his most powerful lessons, being ugly means freedom. Only when you destroy who you think you are, you will be free. If he says so, Miss Trunchbull from Matilda by Roald Dahl. Miss Trunchbull is the headmistress of Crunchum Hall, and you better be on her good side, or else. That means no wearing pigtails to school, and absolutely no eating her chocolate cake, or face the dire and humiliating consequences. Luckily for the students, she is superstitious and has an intense fear of the supernatural. Anyone have a black cat handy? Mr. Gulazarian from Homerooms and Hall Passes by Tom O'Donnell. Mr. Gulazarian dreamed of becoming the world's greatest slam poet. It was his calling, but he was forced to choose a more practical career as a middle school computer teacher, filling his day with pesky students and bringing his frustration to the class. Can someone tell him it's not too late for a career change? Mrs. Gorf from the Wayside School series by Lewis Sacker. Be careful of sneezing in Mrs. Gorf's class. She might turn you into an apple for interrupting. Mrs. Gorf is known as the meanest teacher at Wayside School and torments her students for small things, eventually turning her entire class into apples so she doesn't have to deal with them anymore. They're all bad apples in her book. Coach Hedge from the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. Gleason Hedge is a satyr and a former coach at the Wilderness School. He has the hat and baseball bat to prove it, though his hooves might give him an advantage when it comes to running. Even though he might come off a bit tough, after all, he prefers to fight rather than use nature magic like most other satyrs, he still has a soft side. You just have to look past his buffness.